हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लाटिस विथ ए बेसिस एंड ट्रांसलेशन वेक्टर लेट्स बिगिन व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ट्रू सॉलिड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ डायरेक्ट एनालाइजिंग that true solid we have to analyze the geometrical pattern because a true solid is composed of regular and periodic arrangements of particles like atoms molecules or ions and these are extended over the large volume of crystal therefore we analyze the true solids or we can say it is convenient to us to analyze the true solids by taking its geometrical pattern to study its geometrical pattern we have to very very clear about some technical points or technical terms by using these technical terms we can easily clarify what should be the geometrical pattern of that particular true solids first one lattice lattice crystal lattice is an array of points in space in which each point has the same surroundings each point on the crystal lattice is called a lattice point to understand it let me prefer a two dimensional arrangements in two dimension this is an array of points so the points are arranged these are the array of points in space in which each point has the same surroundings and each point on that of crystal is called a lattice point that point is known as the lattice point each point this one is a lattice point that one also a lattice point we are discussing in two dimension scenario next basis basis is the set of particle particle like atoms molecules or ions are placed on each lattice point t to give rise to a crystal that is known as the basis let you take a group of two atoms and that group of two atoms is represented as like this this is a group of two atoms that is known as the basis means set of particles that particles may be atoms molecules or ions technically we say it as a basis so how we achieve 
the crystal structure the crystal structure we obtain the crystal structure is lattice point to give rise a crystal so in is lattice point we just put that basis so crystal structure we obtain lattice plus basis in each lattice point we just taking this basis so in that way the final structure we obtain of a given crystal so the given crystal we can draw in each lattice point we just replace by the basis that one is a crystal structure this is the crystal structure crystal structure in two dimension is lattice point we taking a basis so finally we achieve the crystal structure we just relate it by taking the example or to understand that lattice basis and crystal structure if uh, that one is a classroom and uh, there will be the tables for the students that tables represent the lattice point and each individual student let represent that basis and when the students are at their own tables so finally we obtain the crystal structure these are the tables these are the students and finally the students are in their own tables so we say that one is the classroom is filled with students that is the crystal structure lattice point basis crystal structure next translation vector another technical term translation vectors how these uh, lattice points or basis can be technically shown taking the lattice point in two dimension in two dimension these are the lattice point yeah o and a that a point let uh, b here is the point let p the lattice points along oa are at equal distances let small a and along ob are at equal distances let small b this distance as a a then b b like this thus 
any lattice point P can be described in terms of this two. So, that lattice point T can be described by a vector that is T vector. So, we write here O A is equal to A, O B is equal to B. So, the lattice point P can be described in terms of a vector of a vector that is T vector is equal to N 1 A vector plus N 2 B vector, where T vector is known as translation vector translation vector n 1 and n 2 these are the integers and a and b a and b is known as lattice vectors lattice vectors here the translation vector is represented like this this is in two dimension same thing we can obtain in three dimension as we know the crystal lattice is three dimension since the crystal lattice is in three dimension so the translation vector the translation vector is represented by T vector is equal to N 1 A vector plus N 2 B vector plus N 2 C vector same thing T as translation vector N 1 N 2 N 3 are integers A vector B vector and C vector are lattice vectors that for two dimension this one for three dimension as we study crystal lattice always in three dimension. So, here with the help of this video lecture we understand about lattice with basis the concept of lattice as lattice point basis that is the group of atoms when this basis we replace in terms of lattice points we achieve the crystal structure and we explain by taking an example of classroom how crystal structure is obtained with a combination of lattice and basis then distance between these lattice points can be technically understood with the help of translation vector so translation vector in terms of two dimension and translation vector in terms of three dimension 
these are the parameters in case of translation vectors so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you